What's good YouTube? Today I'm going to be bringing you guys one of the most overpowered dribble sets in the game. I'm going to be showing you guys four different dribble moves and the best part about this is for three out of the four dribble moves you only need a 70 plus ball handle. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys four different moves which are the half spin combo, the steezo roll, the moonwalk as well as the backwards aggressive behind the back as you see right here. Now understand I'm going to be showing you guys two different players my two-way slashing playmaker with an 86 ball control and my pass for a swing which only gets an 80 ball control which shows that you can still do these moves regardless as far as the animations go i will be showing you what animations you need for each and every move and let's get right into the tutorial and if you guys want to learn this whole dribble combo right here in this clip make sure you guys watch the whole video through all the way to the end so you can understand all the moves so you'll be able to execute that whole combo with ease so for the first move i'll be showing you guys is the half spin now with this move you could do you know, like an in between with the legs crossover with this move and other different moves to get yourself open or to catch ankle breakers if you don't catch it right off the rip with the half spin for doing this move the very first thing that you need is basic two moving spin this spin is very important because it allows you to do the steezer roll and also has the good half spin now when you're trying to do the half spin this is the half spin that you don't want this right here it, it looks pretty slow but this half spin right here is explosive and can get you right to the rack so for how to do the move what you have to do is you want to hold r2 go forward take your right stick now as you can see the ball is in my left hand so i'll take well as i'm holding r2 i'll take my right stick bring it to the left and then turn it to 12 o'clock clockwise so you're going from nine o'clock to 12 o'clock clockwise you're bringing it from the left to the top and once you do that the animation will happen and you'll have a free lane now for the combos you can do out of it same thing you hold r2 as you're moving forward you take your right stick you bring it from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock you, you bring it from left to the top you turn it from the left to the top once you do that right here i'm going to do a crossover behind the back so by so what you want to do is you want to let go of r2 flick your right stick to the right and then flick it down and when you do that you do a crossover behind the back and you can get an angle break over that same thing right here hold r2 Take your right stick from the left turn it to the top once you do that you want in order to do the between the legs behind the back you want to flick your right stick diagonal down to the right and then flick it all the flick it straight down and once you do that you do it between the legs behind the back and for the third move you could do out of it hold r2 move forward take your right stick from the left to the top once you do that what you want to do is after you do that you just want to let go of r2 flick your right stick down and when you do that you get this iso behind the back that like you can do up the court and if you do that in a half court set you'll be able to get to the lane easier for the second move i'll be showing you guys today is the backwards aggressive behind the back now this move right here is a good move to use if you want to reset your offense and get back into your iso game is a really good move to use say like you get a steal on defense and you get right into your offense you'll be able to get your teammates wide open and you can do it right into the moonwalk and other different moves now for the animations that you will need in order to do this move all you need is moving hesitation pro 2 that's what i have on you could use pro 2 and you could also use pro 3 if you use that one instead now for how to do this move all you really want to do it should look like this now this is the move where you need an 86 ball control in order to do it if you do it with under 86 ball control your behind the back is going to look it's going to look weird you're going to get a slower animation so what you want to do is you want to be holding your left stick down you have to be moving away from the basket so i do this by holding my left stick down i'm holding r2 and when you want to do the move all you have to do while you're holding r2 and bringing your left stick down you want to take your right stick flick it up and then down and once you do that it's going to give you the animation it's as simple as that now right here i'm going to show you guys this is my pass for a swing build if you're familiar with it as you can see i'm doing a steezo roll into the backwards behind the back and as you can see i'm doing it but it's giving me a slower animation because i don't have an 86 ball handle 
but regardless you could still kind of use the move to get yourself into a three-pointer if you use that behind the back right out of it now for the third move i want to show you guys is the steezo roll and this move right here is a kill and you could use this move to set yourself up into doing half spins that you could use as a counter and this is really a great move to have within your arsenal to be able to use for the animations that you'll need I use for my moving spin basic 2 still, but if this is your first time learning the Steezo roll, you can put Pro 4. That's what I started off with, then I transitioned into basic 2. So this, if you are if you try basic 2 and you're having trouble doing a move, try Pro 4 out and see if you can do it better like that. Now, for this move, a very important part is you want to try and move diagonally. To the middle of the court you don't want to be going straight forward or straight to the left or right you want to try and move diagonal towards the middle of the court so in order to do the move you want to hold r2 and then as you're moving towards the middle of the court you want to take your right stick since the ball is in your left hand you want to bring it to the left at nine o'clock and then turn it in a u shape all the way to three o'clock so you're taking your right stick from the left and then turning it all the way to the right and once you do that you should get the animation now for the spin you don't have to hold r2 but i suggest trying holding r2 and not holding it i usually let go of r2 when i do my spin but you could still hold r2 and do this move but with me like i let go of r2 but that's just based off my muscle memory for some people you you probably don't want to continuously have to let go of r2 press it again to get into another combo so you could try doing it while holding r2 because that's basically what i do but what you want to do just get into my court and keep practicing this spin this is the animation you want every time you're going to do your steez roll. every time you want to do this you want to just get this spin right here you want to get it you want to get it down perfect right now i'm using basic two now for the second part of the move as you can see so for the second part of the move what you have to do is once you do the first spin as you can see the ball is about to land in your right hand so what you want to do is you want to take your left stick bring it to three o'clock you want to bring your left stick to the right and then turn it diagonal down to the left which is seven o'clock around that range and once you do that your player should glitch out a bit and do the steezo roll and you should get yourself like an open shot or something of that nature i'm gonna explain it again one more time so you're gonna say, say the ball is in your left hand you're on the right side going to the middle you hold r2 moving forward you're moving forward <clears throat> now you want to take your right stick bring it to the left because that's where you, your ball hand is turn it all the way to the right so you'll spin like that and then once you do that when the ball hits the ground or you're about to catch it you want to take your left stick and bring it all the way to the right and then turn it diagonal down to the left to seven o'clock so you're going to take your left stick bring it to three o'clock and then turn it all the way to seven o'clock and once you do that you should do the steez roll i will also show you guys the if you're coming from the left side and the ball is in your right hand so what you want to do is hold r2 move diagonally to the right and once you're doing this you want to take your right stick take it from three o'clock and then you want to turn it all the way to nine o'clock so take your right stick bring it to the right turn it all the way to the left while holding r2 once you do that as the ball hits the ground and you're about to catch the ball you want to take your left stick bring it to the left and then you want to turn it diagonal down to the right to the five o'clock range so since the ball is going to end up in your left hand off the first spin you take your left stick point it to the left turn it all the way to about the five o'clock range diagonal down to the right and it will give you the steez roll. now for the hardest move out of this whole tutorial is going to be the moonwalk but this move right here is the most effective i guarantee you if you can learn this move and master it you're you're gonna basically be unguardable and you can do this move and get right into it out of a lot of moves you could do it out of the misdirection dribble as you can see right here i have on kobe i do all i do is the kobe size up the rhythm dribble and i get right into the moonwalk you could do kobe pro 2 slash curry dribble back you could use the iverson and kobe dribble back you could you could basically do a lot of moves and get right into your moonwalk 
the animation that you guys will need for the moonwalk to be honest with you there isn't really a specific animation but i would recommend you put pro 3 moving behind the back because that one is pretty explosive and it doesn't really get ripped like that and you could also use a various amount of different size of packages but i will show you guys the dribble set that i had when using this as you guys can see right here i had on kobe bryant size of package pro 2 moving crossover pro 3 behind the back basic two spin pro two moving hesitation and the shifty dribble style the dribble style doesn't really matter but i put on kobe because say somebody presses you or is just on your body a lot you can just do the kobe rhythm dribble get them off you and you could just get right into your moonwalk the moonwalk requires a lot of practice to get down pack out of all these moves you have to get into the mic court and try this move out and i'm gonna let you guys know i'm not even the best myself using this move i just learned it so i could show you guys if, but if you can get into my court and get it on the first try every time you'll be good for on to how to do this move during this clip i had on pro 2 size of package so as you can see i do the r2 i hold r2 flick up on the right stick do the hesitation and then i get right into the moonwalk so you just have to do a move that you could speed boost out of in order to start the moonwalk all you have to do is do a move you can speed boost out of so i do the pro 2 hesitation after you do the pro 2 hesitation you want to take your left stick you want to point it diagonal down to the left to seven o'clock this is very important you want to try and point it down to seven o'clock not eight or nine o'clock because that's going to be too wide you want to try and point it to seven o'clock that's the that's the best range in order to get the moonwalk to move to work properly so once you do that your player is going to do this once your player does this move right here you want to take your left stick bring it from seven o'clock and then bring it all the way to 12 o'clock counterclockwise with your left stick you want to bring it inwards not outwards so take it from diagonal down to the left at seven o'clock and turn it inwards all the way to the top at 12 o'clock and once you do that this is going to happen right here your player is going to start getting pulled if, if you see right here your player starts doing a little moonwalk a, a little glitchy move right here once he starts to do that you want to let go of r2 and as you're still holding up on the left stick you want to take your right stick and flick it down and once you do that you're going to get this behind the back now another thing about this is for the moonwalk you don't really have to do it behind the back behind the back out of it you can also do a half spin so i'll show you that right now after you do flick down on the right stick bring your left stick down to seven o'clock turn it inwards to 12 o'clock to the top as you're holding up on the left stick you want to let go of r2 take your right stick bring it to the left and then turn it up to 12 o'clock to do a half spin you want to take your right stick bring it to the left to nine o'clock and turn it clockwise to the top to 12 o'clock and when you do that you do a little half spin get you an easy blow by to the lane so for the beginning clip is promised i'm going to show you guys how to do this exact combo right here moonwalk into this little spin off aggressive backwards behind the back to an easy bucket now for this move right here as you can see right here what i did was i started with the kobe slash iverson dribble back i held r2 flicked down on my right stick once i did that i took my left stick bring it down to seven o'clock <clears throat> turn my left stick inwards to the top to 12 o'clock once you start feeling that pull you let go of r2 flick your right stick down once this happens you want to take your right stick flick it diagonal down to the left because the ball is going to be in your right hand so you want to flick it diagonal down to the non-ball side which is the left so i flick it diagonal down to the left to do it between the legs once that happens you want to take your right stick and do the the, the pro the basic two spin i was telling you guys about with the steezo roll you want to take your right stick point it to the left at nine o'clock and turn it in a u shape to the right to three o'clock counterclockwise so when you do that it'll give you this spin and as, and as you're doing that you want to take your left stick 
point it down, hold R2, flick your right stick up down to get this aggressive backwards behind the back. Other than that, shout out to all the new subs. Appreciate all of you guys tuning into this video. Make sure you go in the description, follow my Twitter, and most importantly, follow my Twitch because once I get to a certain number of subs and views, I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch and you guys will already be in tune with me streaming on Twitch before I even start doing it. So shout out to all of you guys and I'll holla at y'all in the next video.